Hi, I'm Mike Murphy, and welcome to Short, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, we're celebrating an invention that underpins the internet itself. If it weren't for semiconductor lasers, you likely wouldn't be watching this video at all. Back when the lab I'm standing in was new, five scientists figured out how to turn a diode into a laser by passing an electrical current through it. And over the next few years, IBM researchers managed to generate a constant beam of light from a device the size of a grain of rice. This semiconductor laser structure gave rise to entire new fields of technology, including barcode scanning, optical storage like CDs, and fiber optic communications. Billions of gigabytes of data from the internet flow through fiber optic cables every day. The IEEE recently celebrated the original group behind IBM's first semiconductor laser in an event here at IBM Research, with several of the early IBM researchers involved in the project in attendance. Next, searching for AI algorithms that mimic the brain. One of the earliest neural network concepts is having resurgence right now. The Hopfield network was originally designed by physicist John Hopfield in the 1980s. There was a day-long workshop on the topic at 2023's Neurobs conference, and some see Hopfield networks as a way to solve some of the problems that popular AI transformers currently have, such as their tendency to hallucinate and how much compute power they take to just run. Nima Krotov, one of Hopfield's postdocs who now works at IBM Research, has continued to dig into the field and the answers may well be found in mimicking the way our brains associate memories. And much like the Terminator introduced AI to audiences in the 1980s, my CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. What's old is new again. And in case you missed it, I hope you're hungry for donuts in hyperspace. We're now entering the era of quantum utility, where quantum computers are showing that they can solve a problem at a scale beyond what classical computers can easily do. The next big challenge is being able to run error-free computations on quantum machines. So far, encoding qubits for error correction has been done by laying out qubits in understandable geometries, two- and three-dimensional spaces. But there are other ways of exploring space. One idea IBM Quantum is looking into is tiling qubits across more exotic spaces, like three-dimensional tori. A two-dimensional torus is a three-dimensional space, a flat surface curved into a donut. Now, if you could picture it, imagine a donut-like shape in four spatial dimensions that has three holes in its ring instead of two. And I just like that they're calling them donuts in hyperspace. It makes me hungry for our eventual quantum future to arrive as soon as possible, and hopefully with sprinkles on. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time. Donuts in space.